Hey guys, I got us cupcakes. <laughs> I got us cupcakes from the Cupcake Factory. Why did I get us cupcakes? Because we're celebrating. It's her birthday. It is Fully Loving Yourself's fourth birthday and my 34th birthday. And we have to celebrate. So I got us cupcakes. And they're vegan, of course. When I first started Fully Loving Yourself, I was 50 pounds heavier three careers ago in the middle of the panorama, the pandemic. I was bored, I was lonely, I was sad, and looking for community, and I found it. And I don't wanna get emotional when I film this video, but I'm a Cancer, and emotional is who I am. But I'm just very grateful for this journey. Since I've started uploading, I've had multiple diagnoses and healed them. I've moved into the house of my dreams for now. I've gotten engaged, I've gotten married, I've made big life decisions, I've switched careers three different times. I finally quit my job. I guess I'll just start by letting y'all know that I quit my job again and just figuring out life and sharing the journey with y'all as I go. Prior to 2020, I didn't know what YouTube was in its entirety. I didn't know all that it could provide for me in my life. I actually found like my old YouTube channel I made when I was in college. I had no idea that I created that. In my belly is aching, cornbread and greens, don't you know what I mean? So I just gotta eat. I just need to get to KFC. <laughs> but I wasn't hip to Jackie Ayana. I started with Kelly Stamps. In the middle of the pandemic, she was giving YouTube tips advice and I had friends that were like, just start, like you would be amazing at this. And it's been such a journey, but I can honestly say that even before being monetized, YouTube has done so much to change my life. Honestly, it has impacted me in so many different ways and being able to connect with people when I felt alone in my journey. When I first started my YouTube channel, it was three months after I got diagnosed with fibroids and I couldn't find anybody or anything who had done the same thing. And I was like, you know what? I wanna find people who might be looking for the same thing as me. I am scared and I'm alone and I'm looking for my sisters. And now I have so many of you and that's such a beautiful thing. And it also was a pivotal moment for me because I turned 30 that year and I was so scared of turning 30. And starting this channel was like a milestone for me. It was like a gift to myself to, sh to show my journey of being in my 30s and just gaining the confidence and just becoming a woman in my own right. And I've been sharing the femininity journey and the healing journey and all that makes me, me. When I started, I was contemplating leaving my job in social work as a foster care social worker. And that was something that I wanted to do my entire life because I grew up in foster care, but I knew that it was time to transition out because I wanted something different. And I knew that having this platform could help me to reach other young people who needed life skills tips and who needed self care tips like I did when I was that age and when I was younger. And if I could just help one person and impact one person on this journey that what means so much to me and now i've had the opportunity to impact so many more and even though our channel is not huge the impact is huge because i'm touching people who aren't even subscribed but they still see the content they're still here they're still engaging and that is more than i could ever ask for before I start running my mouth too much, welcome or welcome back to Fully Loving Yourself. My name is Science Star J and I love this channel and I love creating YouTube videos to help women on their healing and self-care journeys. And it's our birthday. Did I mention it's our birthday? So for our four-year birthday, it's like we're graduating. We're going to kindergarten. 
we're going to kindergarten guys i wanted to share 10 ways that youtube has changed my life for the better i remember when i was in the eighth grade i was so nervous standing on a stage in the back of a podium reading my poetry to my eighth grade class and all of their friends and family behind that podium my knees were buckling and sweating and i've been on plenty of stages since then and still struggle with public speaking and public performing, dancing and reading my poems and books. And when I first started this YouTube channel, the very first video that I recorded, I said, I'm gonna lie, it's kind of weird talking to, talking to the phone. And over time, my confidence grew and I learned to be able to connect with my audience and connect with y'all when I'm talking to you and just showing up as myself and just having fun while I'm doing it. So that's the biggest thing is that YouTube has helped me to gain confidence in public speaking. I'm a writer. I don't like talking, but <laughs> learning how to speak through this channel and learning how to talk to a camera because it's not a person, you know, but I know that I'm I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm talking to you. And it's I want to make that connection and I want to make it feel as real and as raw as possible. So I guess that's kind of two things. It helped me to build my confidence uh, as an introverted woman in her 30s because like when I'm out, I don't, I'm not this good at speaking i don't think i don't know but then secondly it helped me with my public speaking skills like when i'm presenting in front of people i have more of an oomph about me because i'm like yeah i'm not a girl so <laughs> public speaking and confidence building youtube has been amazing in that way because there's nobody else here and i've been practicing for the last four years so when it's time for me to get up on those big stages when youtube calls me like sonya we got a job for you i'm gonna be ready <laughs> hopefully <laughs> and i also talked about this in one of my other videos but doing youtube actually helped me to increase my salary and getting a job in tech I was doing YouTube for six months. I was just learning editing. I was just learning graphic design. I was just learning all of the things, but I leveraged my experience with YouTube and I was able to get a job as a digital marketing strategist and also land another job in HR using my experience on YouTube. So leverage your experience with your creative endeavors, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it and have the confidence to go for it but <laughs> starting a youtube channel helped me to change my life literally financially um and i'm just so eternally grateful uh because it allowed us to be in a better position in life because i took the opportunity to leverage the skills that i learned on youtube and also with that it helped me to get better at sales and marketing i have had and probably still have like a weird perspective on sales and marketing and i'm working my way through that but being on youtube i'm teaching i'm helping and the things that i'm quote unquote selling and quote unquote marketing are actually to help people and so it helped me to reframe my mindset around sales and marketing because i'll always say i'm not a good salesperson i was always really shy but being able to show up here on this platform and have you guys actually asking me for things. It's like, oh, I have that. I can give you that. You know, I could, you're like, oh, well, where, where's your cookbook? Really? You want my cookbook? You want my recipe books? Okay. Link in the description box below, you know? So it has helped me in that way. Um, you all have helped me to grow a lot in that way. And so I'm really grateful for you all to for seeing and appreciating my value. So thank you, loved ones. Through starting this YouTube channel, it has allowed me or taught me to step into my femininity. How do you mean? Well, I'm watching other content creators who are like femininity coaches and just sharing their femininity journeys and things that I didn't get to learn growing up or just like while I was in foster care. A lot of things that I should have maybe learned, I 
am able to learn through being on YouTube and sharing my femininity journey and having y'all comment things has been so helpful. And then also giving me the opportunity to explore this quote unquote soft life, right? Because I didn't start doing YouTube to build a business, but over time I realized that this could be the baseline of my business and help me to create that life that I dream of and want to live by having my business on YouTube and selling my products and my merchandise and all of the things that I'm able to provide to people that actually are seeking them out. And it's also helping me to tap into that feminine energy in the creative way. I've talked about this in my Finding My Femininity series where I let y'all know like, I use YouTube as a creative outlet. I did this for four years without making a dime just because I love showing up and connecting with y'all and sharing the journey. And it gave me something to kind of decompress and take my mind off of things. I love showing up here on YouTube and creating the videos and having something to go back to that's fun and joyful and just helpful and valuable. Like I truly do love it here. And that, that makes me emotional because I know that people start this journey specifically to become monetized. And after a while, after realizing that this was something that you can get paid from, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, creating the life that you want to live, passive income, all of those things. That definitely played a part in it, but also just having a space where I can just show up and just be myself. Um, and once I stopped chasing the algorithm and just doing what I wanted to do and just having fun doing it, the journey feels so much better. And I'm just so much more happier and freer here on this channel. And I'm just grateful for everybody who decides to show up and support the channel while we're on this journey together. Listen, another way that YouTube helped change my life was that it helped me to become more organized. I'm not the most organized person, but starting YouTube helped me to become organized. Now I'm putting things in files. I'm putting names on files. I'm doing spreadsheets just to stay organized with my channel. Again, not getting paid for none of it, just doing it just because it's something that I love. And I'm very grateful for that because that has helped me in my career. Like with my nine to five, now I'm more organized in my job. I'm more organized in my home. I'm giving everything a home, a place. So thank you. Shout out to the channel for giving me life skills because <laughs> I know that my husband is appreciative and I know that my job is appreciative of me being a more organized individual. And I know this is going to sound odd, but YouTube has also helped my attention span. So it's helped me in a way with my ADHD because it gives me something to focus on. I will sit at the computer for hours editing or just coming up with ideas and just dumping all of my energy into this thing that I'm building and creating. And I love that. And also just being a consumer of YouTube too. I don't even need TikTok anymore. So those are the, I think, 10 ways that I feel like YouTube has truly changed my life and impacted my life and helped me on my wellness and my self-care journey and just on my journey to creating the life that I want. Like I have a vision of the life that I want to live, a legacy that I want to build. And this YouTube channel is a part of that. And so I'm trying to get our cupcake out of here. Y'all, our icing fell. <laughs> Here's one of our vegan vanilla cupcakes from the cupcake shop. We gotta light the candle. Our icing fell off of our chocolate cupcake. <laughs> This is the best one. Okay. While I'm doing that, I want to talk about the direction that the channel is taking. So I've been doing YouTube for the last four years and I've been sharing my journey, my healing and wellness journey. And so we're going to pivot. We are now going to be sharing the journey of creating the life 
that you deserve, creating the life that you want. And I'll be sharing the day in a life mini vlogs as I have been, but I'm also going to be doing more in my Wealthy Wellness Chronicles where we're just getting healthy and we're getting well, get, we're getting healthy and we're getting wealthy. And we're having fun while we're doing it. So it's going to be a total rebrand, new intro, a uh, new banner, new profile picture, new everything. So I hope that you all stick around for the change. If you are interested in still learning more about like the fabric healing journey, I'm starting a podcast. Your girl is starting a podcast. It is the Fully Loving Yourself podcast. I will link it in the description box below because that's where our sit down chit chat videos are gonna be. I wish I could have found pink and orange cupcakes, but I couldn't. Not cupcakes, candles. So here's to our channel turning four. And we are gonna blow out our candles y'all because it's our birthday i want to say happy birthday to you to you don't judge my singing voice but happy birthday for the loving yourself and to the loved ones for everybody who's been here rocking with us the last four years and preferably You'll continue to rock with us on each stage of the journey that we decide to go on. I'm grateful for all of you all's presence and I'm grateful for the journey. Make a wish. To more life, more success, more wealth, abundance, health, and life and community and love. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Mm. Happy birthday to us. Again, thank y'all so much for being here and being a part of the journey. If you are interested, please check out the Fully Loving Yourself podcast. Uh, I'm excited for that part of the journey. And I'm also excited to share with y'all more behind the scenes of how I'm creating this dream life. Like how we're approaching parenthood and our financial success and how continuing to live this plant-based journey. But right now, today, I'm gonna enjoy this <laughs> sugary vegan cupcake. And I pray that you all continue to find your joy, continue to find your peace, and continue to always be fully loving yourself. <laughs> Mm. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.